Podcast. Midnight, 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 mid
And was it you like one of Cobra Kai's top students? Uh, hundred percent. Cobra Kai. Yes. Okay. Strike first. Ask question. No sir. No, 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 no mercy. No mercy. <laughs> Shit. What you do? Strike first. Ask questions later. Uh, strike first. Strike fast. No mercy. Some shit. Yeah. Um, Cobra Kai. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Because Daniel son was a beta. Beta. <laughs> that bit. No. But I. Uh, yeah, dog. I fucking was. Because we had to put bags, you know, over the the tomatoes and shit, so they don't whatever the case. And I was always going. I didn't see there was pallets on the other side. And as soon as I made it around, you were walking. I was on my tippy toes trying to put the bag up, and I'm going over the 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 pallet. And as I as I got to the other side, I hit the pallet on the ground. And Is I there tripped. footage of this? Of course. Okay, I'll make be sure. posting it soon. Yes, postage coming. I'll too. even put it here. Boom. Post, uh, yeah, footage coming through on a YouTube yeah. near, near you soon. Yeah, TikTok. Y- YouTube, TikTok. My last fall got 35,000 views or likes or nice. some shit. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You might be the 2024 fall guy. I think somebody said gay. In the comments. You feel gay? No, just gay. Falling is gay? I guess. Okay. So shout out to somebody. Monotno. Monotno. Yeah. So, yeah. Look forward to that. I was like, I'm not going to say his name. He he's likes to be that unknown character. But my dog, I was like, cue it up on the camera. It was probably about 157 yesterday in this in, in the staging area or the dock area. Cue it up. <laughs> Oh, you told me to queue it up? I told him to queue it up. And I recorded it on my phone. Nice. Yeah. Nice, so, nice, nice, nice. Watch out for that, people. Yeah. You know what? It's like, wonder if you went on tour with your greatest hits videos. Like with all your fall videos. All my dump palettes. And dump palettes, and you just did that in every city. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know they, what? They would think I'm nowhere near the best, one of the best. <laughs> I mean, but that comes with it. It does. It definitely does. It comes it with it. Like you know what? Like for me, uh, being like uh, the maverick of the trucking world. Go ahead, maverick. I'm Every, goose. Everybody <laughs> can. I'm like goose. It, you he know. Dies. <laughs> but, well, this is the thing, like. You know, everybody can get into some effed up situations. Yeah, you're But the lying. true genius is how you get out. Oh, 100%. When I first started driving, I didn't really know what my truck could and could not do. And this was back in, I had a, you know, sleeper, 53-footer. I'm thirsty. I'm just rolling because I wanted to get it done. This was before you had to take the brakes. So I'm just trying to roll my time out. I'm like, man, I've been rolling long enough. I'm thirsty. So I pulled into this little gas station off of an uh, interstate. Dude in there came running out like, that thing can't fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know now, mother effa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to ner- <laughs> learn and know what you can and cannot do in that boy. I was just, my thought was, I'm going to just go in here and grab a guy to ride. And come right back out. And, 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 and he I, came running out like, that thing can't fit in here. But it's only going to be for a second, sir. I was like, look here, man. Just <laughs> run back in there and get me a Gator right. <laughs> Do it in silence, though. You could just run in, get me a Gatorade. I'll give you the money. You don't have to say anything to anyone. <laughs> and just come on right back out. I said, I know. Thank you. And I just get, went back out. Yeah. But, you know. That was that part. But, you know, you had to learn things, you know, as you go. And this is another thing, you know, while I'm thinking about it, like, you know, like these young guys Uh. come out with these songs and these great parts or they doing these great routines. But they don't think about. You just made a classic. And people going to want to see you perform this each and every time. You made a crazy transition, but explain. I'll explain. Drew Hill. Uh-huh. They came out with that song, Tell Me What You Want. Tell me 
see what, what you, you want. want. Boom. And all of them was Tell jumping high as fuck. Like, boom. Yeah. Boom. All of them was jumping high as fuck. Well, that was a club boy. So, so guess what? So, so, guess what? So, what? 30 years later or 20 years later? Everyone wants to hear it. Tell me what you want. And they want to see y'all jump like how y'all was jumping. <laughs> Cisco and Woody and Jazz. Now, first of all, Woody was getting up there back then. He was a little heavy, but he was still. Right, 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 right. <laughs> now, Woody, my man. Tell me what Can you, you still did. do that jump? <laughs> Can you still get up there high <laughs> like you did? Because people going to come. When y'all perform that, they want to see that. Yeah, you know oh, yeah. Saying? They want the whole show. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ocean Avenue, yellow card. I was see. I don't know nothing. We would just listen to it. Okay, all right. And oh, the man. drummer dude. Yeah. Tearing it up. I mean, like. Well, drummer dudes usually drummer dudes till they die. Well, I don't know if he's still with Yellow Card. But he's still a drummer dude. He's still a drummer dude. Shout out to him. I'm gonna give you his name and stuff later. But shout out to him. He. Ocean Avenue, he was tearing it up, and at first it sound it was sound like a machine gun, like during the chorus. But then it showed him doing it. So I don't know who Yellow Car has as the drummer now, but I, I know he. Know he's not with them. Well, I know. Oh. Well, I know. Yeah, music is my life. Uh, I know. That's why when you told me to listen, I'm like, okay, I listen. I said, yeah, but I don't. But but what well, my thing is is like. I don't know who they replaced him with, right. but I'm sure whoever it was was like, that motherfucker. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to follow him, and you got to tour. When you guys go on tour, you got to play that. Like, even, like, okay, Yellow Card is still kind of, like, probably my age or a little under me. I'm 48. Right. Probably a little under me now. But, like, it's certain drum chops that, like, whoa, you know, like, like uh, what was that? Morris Day was seven 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 ninety three eleven. That that was a, doom, 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 doom. but it was like hitting like almost like a machine, like really 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 fast. And I'm like, do you guys be conscious of that? Like, you know, when you guys are young and full of energy and like you know like certain parts in the songs when you extending your voice like extra long, do you think about? That you're gonna have to do that for the rest of your life. Yeah. I know. Well, I heard Panic at the Disco. Um, what was that song? Uh, I chimed in. Haven't you people ever heard of shutting the goddamn door? Well, they were singing that, and I heard them do it live. And it was the one part where he was like singing extra long. He didn't fucking do it. And I'm like, you what a I was like uh, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> What a letdown. <laughs> but see when you doing all that fantastic shit yeah, yeah. on a record. Well man, they do studios can do wonders too. Yeah, but hey, you're gonna be performing at live. Yeah. Like I was watching old footage of the monkeys, like you know, hey, hey, with the monkeys. Yeah, yeah, be you the know, same monkey around. You know, shout they out to uh, Mickey Dolenz. I think he's the only one living. Um, yeah, that was my group. I used to listen to them and watch their stuff. But, you know, I saw an interview. They were. It was like an episode where they were interviewing each one of them. And um, um, Michael Nesmith, the, the, you know, he's the, the guy that... I think he played the bass so, or the damn, guitar. He, he played the, the guitar. Names. He was the one that wore the the hat. Hold on, shout out the to Cord beanie. shout out to Cordell Cousy Brass Press for remembering all the names. That's for because everybody. I don't. That's because I don't it's smoke. Not pot. the reason. Yeah, it's not the reason. Well, Michael Nesmith, his family actually invented whiteout. Not the reason. Um, but he why uh, he wanted to cover up all his mistakes. <laughs> We got to cover these up with something. Like, why out? Why out is a perfect... <laughs> like, I could write in pen, but I can cover it up and write over it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using that accent, because he did not have that accent. But anyway, perfect. Though. like Michael Nesmith said, that um, <laughs> they were interviewing him, and it was like, yeah, we, I heard that, you know, they don't think we actually play our instruments. He said, well, well, we better do something. People come to see us. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, that's like us. What do you mean? 
comedies like that. Mm. It's a performance, man. You know what? I, I, you know what? It was a funny thing, <laughs> real funny thing. I heard that you know someone that saw me, D Hawk, and I Hollis. Okay. Um, you know, commercial or clips. Yeah. They was like, well, of course they knew me, but they was like, I didn't know that they were comedians too. Like they were actually on stage. They was like, I didn't know they they did comedy too. Like, yeah, you know, like a lot of people don't realize that that D Hawk does comedy. Oh yeah. He was he was on he was on stage performing before he started doing the skits. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, well, you yeah, know, yeah. Yeah, people be like, I didn't know there was comics too. I'm like, I mean, dude, that's how a lot of things are. Like a lot of people in movies. It's funny because I'll watch movies now mm-hmm. and I'll see comedians that nobody knows of mm-hmm. in movies, and I'm like, yeah, look at they got a little role. You know what I mean? It's like, oh man, just like here in the local scene. Uh, shout out to uh, Javon Bates. Shout out to Javon Bates. Shout out to uh, Dave Flint. Shout out to Dave Flint, yeah. You know, it, it's really cool when you see these movies and see your friends. Right. Or yourself. <laughs> hey. In the movies and you're like, hey, I know him. <laughs> I know that guy. I'm going to call him right now and be like, yeah, man, I seen you in that <laughs> movie, man. <laughs> We're trying to do the movie start. I'm going to see. Show started. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of the best scenes. What's that? Boomerang. Oh, yeah. You don't remember that? No. <gasps> yeah. When he was talking to the lady at the uh, booth. The dude. In the, the booth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, we're trying to do the moopy yeah. dirt. Like, what? He's like, the show started half hour ago. Thank you. You're very good at this job. I know this. Some punk ass. <laughs> One of the best things. Yeah, Old man. Old school. Love movies. But yeah, man, it's... Uh, so, wait a minute. Yep. Sorry. No, go ahead. I'm glad I got into comedy at the age of 40-something. Because if I came up with some jokes, oh. I think I probably would have been, like, if I was in my early 20s, oh. I probably would have been a little physical. Not quite like the dude we saw throw himself on the ground and stuff like that. Yeah. But some of my jokes I would probably been, like... Because I looked up to Arnaz J. You know what I'm saying? He was very physical. I looked up to uh, Dick Van Dyke. Very physical. I looked up to um, Jerry Lewis. Very, you know, these guys were physical. I looked up to John Ritter. You know, Three's Company Duke. I mean, you're not like a statue up there. You you don't act nothing out. I'm not throwing myself on the ground no, either. 100%. I'm not doing but that. But I can that. see... Not saying I would have thrown myself on the ground, but even Cat. Yeah. yeah. He's still running around, jumping, yeah, and yeah, yeah. doing physical things. Shout out to Cat Williams. Well, you know why? Because he has the... Yeah, shout out to Cat Williams. But he has the freedom, the freedom to do that. No, I'm not saying not having the freedom, but... You know what I mean? Because if we do it, we feel a certain way being in, you know, certain environments. You know what I mean? Oh, we, JB Smooth. Oh yeah! Shout out to JB. Shout out to JB Smooth, yeah. man. That's he my gave dude, man. Zero Fs. About, no, but about it, he was on stage just li- running rolling, around, rolling yeah, around. He had on a nice suit. Over, he yeah, didn't care. He didn't care. He didn't try and keep it clean. He didn't give two Fs. None. He had a great time on stage, doing his damn thing. Yeah, but that's my thing. Like, okay, like certain people. But he got to that point where he's so comfortable up there. He's been doing it for what twenty years, twenty plus years. I don't know, twenty plus. I'll say, I'll comfortably say twenty plus years. Twenty plus. Yeah. Shout out to JB Smooth. Shout out to JB Smooth, and he was cool as shit. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like one of those deals where he's so comfortable in his skin and his career and whatever he's doing, where he's done it so many times where it's like this is me i'm going i'm gonna tell you my shit i'm gonna do my shit i don't give a fuck he said he told us the stage is my area i'll use the curtain i'll go and hide behind the curtain he did say that i'll go on the end of the stage i'll I'll do whatever he he said that and it's like you, you gotta get to that point I love the fact that we we got into it, like you said, in our 40s. But at the same time, man, I hate it. Could you imagine, like, 
I mean, I th- I can't. Well, trust me, man. I think we would have talked about whatever we wanted to talk about at those times. Yeah. How, however, our maturity at this point is able to articulate it a little bit better or just come up with better, you know, we're, we're able to grab from a lot more experience. And have, I, I get have that it. and I respect that, but I'm just saying like, like certain performances, certain jokes, you know, like old to you, new to the world type of thing. 100%. Like, especially like if we did a lot of things that we know kill, like, I mean, I graduated, in, I was supposed to graduate in 93, so 93 I was like maybe 17. So if I was like started comedy back then, I probably would have had some physical jokes, throwing myself around or running around doing something goofy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, now that I'm almost fifty, let me I'm try. Not, they not didn't not see these kidding. jokes. Let me try them now. <laughs> I would be I would be mad at my past self. Like that's a good callback. You know what I mean? From early, yeah, it's a good callback. Just from earlier, like yeah. bringing it back. No, hundred percent. Yeah. Because then you have to continue to do that same joke. It's like, I don't want, like my twerk. I got to stop twerking. <laughs> you have to retire the twerk. I have to retire the twerk. I just have to talk about it. <laughs> wow. Because. No Diddy. He had a great twerk. No, no Diddy, though. <laughs> no, no, Diddy. no Diddy. Look, I can dance. So the key to dancing is just having fun. And then you start just messing around. And then it's just, you know. You know, no, like Sorry. I said. Sorry. No Diddy, like, it was great for his bit. It was great for comedy, like, when he did it. And when he really committed to it. First of all, like. Word. You know, first of all, I don't know too many men <laughs> that could twerk. Let's start there. <laughs> that, that are uh, and heterosexual? Then, heterosexual <laughs> men that could twerk. There we go. <laughs> and, not saying he up there. Like, yeah, I'm not breaking it down like fucking... Uh, left uh, cheek. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no. F that. No. I wouldn't be a part of this conversation. <laughs> yeah, right. But I'm just saying, like, and the fact that he's a white dude doing it. Yeah. That makes the joke even better. Well, you know what? The, the fun thing about that is because nobody really knows my, gro- you know, me growing up. It, that's even better because that's because you could catch people off. Off by the, your topics that you talk about, the right. things you bring up, like yeah. you know the the things that only like you know some of like mostly the black culture can experience and can relate to. He can relate to. Yeah, I mean you know I'm I'm constantly telling people like Justin is white. <laughs> you know he's white, right? <laughs> Justin is white. Yeah, people out there who's just listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling people all the time, like, Justin is white, you know. <clears throat> He's white. I am. I so, am white. They be like, no, nah, but he mixed with something. Like, no, he's mixed with Italian and Irish. He's white. Justin's yeah. white. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just cultured. He's, he's uh, you know. Um, you know, my personal experience, I find out when people, like, you know, are well-traveled individuals, they're more like... They've actually seen and experienced that people are actually people, and but you know when you when you run into your people that never went nowhere and mm-hmm. they stuck in their ways and you know never played sports or never had to depend on someone to save each other's life, you right. know what I'm saying? They be stuck in one way, but when people are well traveled or they grew up with different people, that they have a better understanding of like how the world works. Hundred percent. Yeah. I value that, man. Like I said, growing up just with the friends I had, man, it was just, it was great. Because Erie's, man, Erie's great because, I don't think it's not great, just, I guess my neighborhood, because I just grew up with all types of people. And the thing about growing up is, it's, you're taught bad shit. Yeah. You're taught bad shit. Well, I don't. I wouldn't say it's you, bad you, you, shit. You, well, you're, you're taught you, you only taught the best you, to your parents' ability. Well, because they. Well, the problem is, is they they feed. The problem is, is the bad parents feed. No, they kids. don't. They don't listen. They don't make them bad parents. They only teach their kids what they think they know. You, you think they know that though? 
I mean, I guess. They're doing the best they can with what they know, with the knowledge that they have. I guess. But you know, because I don't know everything. No. And, but but I try to... When you try and keep keep kids away from certain... You know what I mean? It's, it's because like, that's the way they were taught. They were never... They Look, if you if you know better, you do better. I guess. So if you didn't that's, know better, you couldn't teach better. So Some people stay in their own little bubbles, man. I'm not making excuses for anybody. No, but you're right. But No, because you, you do have to realize that people aren't you... I'm yeah. talking about me or just how you out there think. You know what I mean? As you wake up in the day, you wake up in your own world. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're with other people in your world, your family, your close people, but you're in your own world. <laughs> My experience has been like, you know, sometimes I've noticed, and I, when I was younger, I used to have conversations with like random people. Like I used to purposely seek older people to start conversations with. Really? Yeah. I used to hold older people up on the pedestal because I thought, you know, I was like, <laughs> I was like a person that was in, in, I was like in search of knowledge. Okay. I, I always tell people I'm nerdy. I'm a nerd, but I just happen to look cool. Hey. No diddy. <laughs> But I'm really like nerdy. I'm not of the nerd species. And if you want to know what the nerd species is, Google DJ Qual, Bill Gates. Those are people that's of the nerd species. They are nerds and obviously look like nerds. But I don't look like the nerds. I'm not of the nerd gene. I mean, but go ahead. But I'm just saying, I used to like want to know. And so I would seek after older people to start conversations with. And in my little personal experience and studies, people get to an age, even the racist people. Sometimes they die racist. Mm. Sometimes they die and they realize, like, look, I'm trying to make it right with God. <laughs> I, I need to fess up. <laughs> I know that people are people. And I'm older now. I'm trying to make it right with God. And I'm like at this point where I'm like, I've been wrong. My whole life. Um, Thinking a certain way about people? Yeah, I, I've been wrong. Um, or you got people that's going to be like the way they are for the rest of their life till the day they yeah, die. Yeah, which is terrible. I mean, even, even you know, I'm not perfect. No. I'm not perfect. I'm not. I'm, I'm almost. No. <laughs> Yeah, if I grow my hair and lose some weight, I say it I would be time. perfect. I say it all the time. No, no I'm, 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 I'm not I'm, perfect. I'm, no, no, I, I'm not perfect either. But it's like, you know, I don't know. We're all just living here, and none of us really, 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 really know the answers to everything. Mm, nope. Some people think they know. Even the ones that think they know really don't know. No, they just no. They just heard it and they assume and they think, but yeah, nobody. Like knows. even if people like knew, like I think if people knew the truth, or like let's just say, even where we believe it though. But but just check According this out. According to the Bible, that's the truth. Check this out. Like even if I knew an extraterrestrial, yeah, and I knew he was an extraterrestrial. Facts. Like if you factually, if I actually knew this guy or this being that was extraterrestrial, right, I would just know his side of the story from where he came from and things of that nature. Right. If if I if I know this one extraterrestrial, I would be interested in knowing. The rest of the extraterrestrials, like, okay, are you the only one? Are you the only one here? Who are the others? Right. Where did they come from? Mm -hmm. Can I talk to them? Right. What were their experiences? You know what I'm saying? Are they here? Had they been here? Oh, they've been here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Who are they? Are we using some of their technology? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like what? Right. Everything. Oh, yeah? Really? Okay. Oh, that new color-changing paint job? Is you, you guys technology? Oh, okay. That's dope. Who came up with that? Okay. That was dope. You know, people can change the color of their cars like boom, boop, boop, with a push of the button. And Get one, the fuck out And of one of the colors. No, can't. And one of the colors. Are you serious? 
Hold on. He, he glossed over that like that's just cool, like a normal thing. Hold on. One of the color change, you, uh, in addition to green, yellow, blue, red, at a push of a button, one of the color changes is transparent. So it's invisible. It is and it ain't. You can see that it's there, but it takes on the mirror image of the survival. what's behind it. Uh. And that's not new technology, but it's new to being available on cars for con consumers. That's not good. Because that's going to cause still accidents. See, but you can still see the car there. <laughs> Some people. But if you probably high or drunk, you probably be like, I didn't see I it. I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. That's my excuse. But I people. need huh. that in my life. <laughs> now, I need that. I saw it. I need that. Look, I had an automatic start in the 90s, y'all. I need one of those again. Like when yeah, I are the look, best in the winter time, dog. Yeah, oh, but but once God. I knew that that technology exists, you needed I, it. I had to have you it. had to have it, and I had it. I, I, I knew somebody that had it before me. I said, "Say what? Yeah, let me get that." And then when you don't have it no more, no, I gotta go brush my car off instead of just starting my shit and letting it melt away. <laughs> I'll set let my shit run for twenty minutes, a half hour. Right now, mine only it, it counts down from like, like 10 nine minutes, minutes. yeah, yeah 10 some minutes. shit like that. Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying, I'll restart it. That's yeah. whack. Yeah, it's not whack because you need no. Have, it, ten minutes is whack. Oh yeah, but it's a it's a gas saver. I get it because maybe you forgot, maybe you fell asleep, maybe somebody you accidentally hit it. No. I get it, dog. I want my shit I on. I need my shit on. <laughs> my shit and on. I don't need it to be interrupted. I started for a reason. Turn my shit on. So what I got a quarter tank of gas. <laughs> Actually, if my gas is low, it won't do it. No. <laughs> so you have to walk out there and start it manually. It, it won't. Yeah. Beta! <laughs> like, if I don't have enough gas, it'd be like... Your gas is low, therefore, <laughs> you're like, excuse me, Mr. Cordell, your gas is low, therefore, we're not going to automatic start your car. <laughs> you should probably consider keeping more gas in your car if you want to use the automatic start. <laughs> Mr. Cordell. <laughs> yeah, is that how it's such a name? Nobody says. Well, well, the the my my friends from India do uh, call me Cordal. Oh, okay. I was gonna yeah. say the phone. No, the phone don't. Oh, okay. I made all that up. All right. It's hilarious. No, but they do want it to be like a certain amount. Okay, they that's don't, crazy. It, my though. phone don't talk to me like that. I mean, I know it don't, but yeah, it sounds like it would. It don't. Yeah. Like Mr. Cordell, if you want to <laughs> automatic start your car, you must make sure you have at least a half a tank of gas. What what was the uh the 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 car night Dave night Kit Kit Who the fuck is Dave? Wasn't he the, the the driver? It's Michael Knight. Michael Knight. Who the fuck is Dave? Boop, I, don't, boop, 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 boop. I don't think the show would have been the same if his name was Dave. <laughs> <laughs> like Wait, he, he was like Well, this instead of saying Michael, he couldn't say David. No, it, it has the same uh, syllables. Mm-mm. -mm. Michael. Kit used to be like, Michael. <laughs> Michael. Yeah, Michael. Uh, like, you, you I know, said it? Michael. <laughs> if I, if I did, redid Knight Rider, I would want Kit's voice to be Esther Rowe from Good Times, the mom from Good Times. Oh, boy. See? See? I, w I would want her to be like, oh, Michael. Michael. <laughs> Why? Because that would be funny to that me. That wouldn't be funny. To me, it would. Every time you got in the car, hey, oh. Kit. Oh, Michael. <laughs> Take me around to the corner, Kit. Michael. <laughs> oh, Michael. Stop talking to me, Kit. <laughs> like, why do you want to go around the corner, Michael? No, why? That would be terrible. That's a terrible voice. What? Esther Rowe? Yes. I can't do Esther Rowe. I mean... Oh, Michael. Yeah. Oh, Michael. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would matter. You know? If his name was David. It, it, I don't think it would be the same. I mean, I'm just saying. 
Definitely not not that voice. I think I think you know what if it was Kit and he was like you know what if it was Doctor Now's voice, Michael? What are you doing, Michael? Like Michael, (laughs) he'd be like Kit. I need you. Like Michael, where are you? (laughs) Hello, how y'all doing? (laughs) I think Kit's voice should have been Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, fudge yeah. Yeah. Michael, get your motherfucking ass yeah. in this motherfucking car. <laughs> like, what the fuck is you doing there in the first place, Michael? <laughs> Look, they should reboot my Night Runner. I'll get there when I want to fucking get there. <laughs> like, Michael, you interrupted me right now. I was drinking Coke 45. Can't drink and drive. Got yeah. sober up. Michael, your bitch ass always into some bullshit. I just, you know, they reboot again because they did reboot it again. That's my they, alarm, by the way. What, what I writer? No, Samuel Jackson. What do you say? Wake your motherfucking. <laughs> no. Do I look like a bitch? <laughs> I look. Say what again? Did you see the song I, that, that that person uh, made that I posted? It was a while back. Nah. Does he look like a bitch? What? Say what, mom again? <laughs> so it was a song with Samuel Jackson's. Uh, what do they call those things? Quotables or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. From uh, Pulp, 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 Pulp Fiction. Fiction. Yeah, yeah. It's just do a- I look? Well, that's a tasty burger. <laughs> he says that. Say what again? But he had, he had. You know, they can't do the sound bites without saying, "I'm tired, ty- sick and tired of these motherfuckers." Oh snakes. yeah, the motherfucking I mean, playing. Yeah, but they didn't use that one. They didn't. No, because it's a different movie. What about What's in Your Wallet? Oh, it was different. Yeah. Different movie. Because that was the American Express. What's in Your Wallet? American Express. You know the credit cards? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The one from what movie? American Express commercial? No movie? Oh. Uh, What's in Your Wallet? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got you. He's you all know, over he, You know he, uh, he, he still- robbed uh, McDaniels from coming Yeah, to oh, of course I do. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. Yeah. 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 I was scared of him. Were you? No. But he was very scary in um in, in coming to America. He was convincing. Who the fuck is this asshole? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, Semi is brave. <laughs> Semi is brave. He is brave. Arsenio Dude, is brave. Man, that's one of the best movies ever. Yeah, you know Semi's from Cleveland. Warrensville. Is he? Yeah, you know Arsenio was from here. Why do you think he had the dog pound on his show? Because he's a buster. It, why do you think it wasn't the Steelers? It was the dog pound, bruh. Woof, 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 woof. Oof. Boo. Why do you think it wasn't the Steelers? Uh, because he wasn't in Pittsburgh, obviously. You know what the Steelers is? Black and yellow. Yeah, but explain the the whole steel steel factories. Steelers, and what was the emblem from? Steel factories. Steel factories make that emblem? I mean, it's just that, that company. That company? What the? Yeah. It's one of the companies. Well, the Chargers, San Diego Chargers. It has nothing to do with them. You don't know what they, they called the Chargers because that's where credit card companies started from, and that's what the Chargers. <laughs> that is not what they came from. Bengals is a Tiger, Cincinnati Bengals. The Bears are a bear, Chicago Bears. Miami's the Dolphins, Miami Dolphins. Self-explanatory. Yeah, absolutely. And the Chargers are the Chargers because that's where credit cards started, <laughs> and he charged the credit cards. And San Francisco 49ers, those names. The Gold Rush. It's Gold Rush. And they right. were just out there, Gold Rush. Carolina the Panthers. Football. They'll eat you. Carolina Panthers, and then you got the uh, Detroit Lions. And they'll eat you, too. A bunch of lions roaming around the cities of Detroit. Lions, tigers, and panthers, and bears. Oh, my. <laughs> Actually, like, if they named Cleveland after the animal that most run around here, it would probably be the Cleveland squirrels. Or the deer. Or the deer. Or Dog, skunks. I, that's me. <laughs> Cleveland skunks. I walked out the house the other morning. And you saw a skunk? No, a deer was right there at my front door and ran by the tree. It'd be the bucks though, because bucks are hardcore. No, it was. I think it was a doe. But but you know the the ones with the antlers, they really not that scared of you. You ever notice that? Because they look at you like I'll stab you and then hoof you to death. 
No, but have you had but any... I'll shoot you. Have you had any experience with the bucks, though? Yeah, because you go hunting. That's what you do. I don't kill bucks. I don't kill animals. I, I mean, I, I eat hamburgers, though. I, I don't. I haven't. I'll eat steak, too. Yeah, all day. And um, I haven't. I went hunting a few times when I was like mm, teen, 13, 14, maybe younger. What you kill? Nothing, because both times, one time, actually it was probably younger than that, but one time me and my dad fell asleep on this log and woke up and there was a deer, not, not but like 10 feet in front of us, and he reached and grabbed his gun and shot over my head and my ears Still ringing. Just rang, and he missed, and then it was like a rap after that. A rap? Yeah, like we didn't okay. see nothing after that, and then we just um, went back. And then I, I just never like, because in my mind, and I know I'm going to be beta for this, dude, but I, beta. I haven't had a gut of deer either, and I'm like, eh. I don't even think I would like the gut of fish. No, I don't eat fish, so. I eat fish. I don't eat fish. I eat fish. You eat shrimp? No. What do you eat seafood? I eat tuna fish. That's a fish. I know, but that's all I eat. But it was a fish. Like tuna fish. Tunas are huge. I know, but they're ground up and put in a can, and I squeeze that juice out, and I put it with mayo and onions and put it on some bread and smash. Tuna got teeth. Well, it it got fucking ground up, and I ate it. I didn't know the process, but... You don't eat sardines? No. Mm. Tuna fish. Beta! Uh Uh-huh. I don't eat lobster tail. I don't eat, I don't eat lobster shit. tail either. Uh, what the fuck that said on my shit. I don't eat lobster tail. Matter of fact, I stay from everything that um, has a shell. So you don't eat shrimp or nothing? No. Yeah, I don't eat that shit. Either. Yeah, I like shrimp, but it don't agree with my stomach. Allergies? I don't know, but it just makes me throw up. <laughs> Does that mean you don't like it? <laughs> I do like it. I'll be like, shrimp. But I hate throw up so bad, I don't mess with it. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's like vodka. What do you mean? I, I don't like, like vodka. I don't like vodka because this, I'll start throwing everybody, up. Every time I drink this, people think it's water. It's actually vodka. <laughs> <laughs> it's not vodka. This is vodka. It's actually water. That's what it is. But I'm gonna have. Woo! I'm gonna have some vodka too. <laughs> Look good. See that's vodka. Look at that. Look, he's like free. He's like free falling his own bottle, water bottle. Like, yeah, yeah. Like he's afraid of getting floated from his own water bottle. People. Nope, I had it right on my lips because I, I could. I could still feel the impression from the the, the plastic bottle. Dub, 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 dub. No, did he? So, <laughs> the Midnight Pocket Podcast brought to you in part by the Acumen Paralegal Services help you help yourself the legal way. The services that they offer is they help with documents that need to be typed, guardianships, probate, divorce, wills and trusts, complaints, business organization, financial planning, and legal research and writing. Go ahead and give them a call at 216 727 0049 or 216-456-2000. Michelle White will get you right. <laughs> Yo, Jay, where they can find you at, man? Where can they find you? Hey, everybody. You can follow me at Justin Fuller Comedy on all platforms. You can follow me at the underscore great underscore C-O-R-E-E. That's, That's right. where you can find me. Or you can find us both at the Midnight Pocket Podcast. That's right. Please hit the like. Subscribe. And subscribe notifications people please please make sure you're telling everybody please make sure you're spread passing this word. around spread the word hey i know we're some silly motherfuckers you know but hey that's what we do with our lives i know you're out there doing something with yourselves at this moment excuse appreciate me. you all thanks for watching time. yeah 100 percent. check you out next week peace out midnight park midnight park podcast Midnight, 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 midnight